So every dungeon, every crypt, every building needs doors, right? Well, what's better than a door? A door that you can actually remove from the wall so you can use the wall as an archway too, or you can replace it with a different door. So let's get started. So you'll notice that pocket doors are very similar to regular walls. There's, the only difference really is that the interior section is broken into two pieces. There's a frame and then there's an insert. But for the outside walls, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to use some pre-textured wall strips. And for the interior pieces, we'll use the uh, untextured strips. So we'll start by cutting out two exterior wall pieces. And you can just trace out that, uh, that arched doorway there. You can also cut it just directly, but it is a little harder to cut something like a circle like that um, with the knife. So sometimes I prefer to trace out more complex items to cut out. And I also do it in more than one pass. Um, because if I try to do it all in one pass, sometimes the phone will tear. So I'll do it halfway down right there. And then I'll do all the way down on the second pass. And just do one more like that. And then it's time to cut the interior pieces. First, we're going to do the interior, the middle section of the wall itself. And you'll notice there's that gray bar for scaffolding, just like we had on the uh, scoring sled jig. And just make sure you cut through all the scoring slits. And then we're going to cut out the areas in the middle of the pocket itself. And then we'll gently break apart the separate sections at the score lines. Just make sure for that interior pocket piece there, it's got some pretty thin arms, so make sure that you support them when you snap them apart. And then we're just going to add a simple texture to that interior piece, because that's going to become our door. And uh, yeah, I usually just use a dull pencil. So I'm going to draw out the beams, and you'll see they're kind of rough. I, I'm, I find with them not being perfect. In fact, I think they look better if they're not perfect. And then I'm going to add in some wood grain, and you can do this in one of two ways. You can uh, use a sharper pencil just to kind of give some squiggly lines on there to give the impression of grain. And you can also use your utility knife, which you have on hand. Uh, you can also use that to kind of cut in some little lines. Now the pencil will be a little bit more pr uh, pronounced, but the utility knife will definitely work in a pinch. For the, for the knob of the door, I do uh, I basically use something anything that's kind of round and uh, that I can press down into the foam. Because remember, it has to be pressed into the foam, so you can still... Like, you wouldn't add a ring to the door like you do in the tavern stores, because then you wouldn't be able to insert and remove the door from the pocket, because the ring would be in the way. And then it's time to uh, glue all the pieces together. We're going to start with uh, gluing the wall piece to the interior. Now remember, we're going to leave that scaffolding on there because you're going to hold that interior piece by the scaffolding. And the scaffolding is going to ensure that that pocket stays the correct width to accept our door. So as, just like with the regular walls, you're going to make sure you don't put any glue on the bottom part of the interior piece because that's going to be in the gutter between the grid squares. And then again, you're going to center up that interior piece left to right. That looks pretty good. Okay, so here's an important step. Now that we've gotten that glued down, we need to remove the scaffolding. If you glue the other piece of wall on before taking off the scaffolding, you're going to have a bad day because you won't be able to get it out of there. So make sure you take that scaffolding out before you put the second piece on. And you can also do a little test fit of your door. It looks pretty good. And then it's just adding some hot glue, putting the wall on, making sure it's, it's positioned correctly left to right, and you're done. All set for paint. So if you haven't already, you can get started right now on your Terreno journey by downloading the Terreno construction manuals at GameGearMaster.com. They are consistently rated five stars and come with a 14-day hassle-free money-back guarantee. That means if Terreno's not for you, 
No problem. You'll get your money back. No questions asked. Happy crafting. And a big thank you to my supporters on patreon.com forward slash Game Gear Master. And a shout out to the architects on there who really go above and beyond. Brian Yao and William Dellinger, thank you so much. And apologies if I mispronounced your names. If you'd like to become a patron and get exclusive Trey No products, go to patreon.com forward slash Game Gear Master.